Let's make a custom structure spawn in the world. Let's see how to do that. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft again. Indeed, because we have a custom structure to spawn and save, first of all, of course. So this is just, you know, the custom structure I sort of came up with. You know, it's not the craziest thing, but it is kind of cool. So you can basically see, you know, we have a, you know, a lantern inside. We have a, you know, bunch of doors and some custom blocks. And yeah, I mean, pretty much just a normal, you know, custom structure here. This is going to be the cow house, of course, right? And well, the way to save this is we need to give ourselves once again the structure block. So let's just give ourselves the structure block, this one right here. There you go. And then we can place it. So we have to place it outside of this structure. So we need to place it right here. So you can see that it's outside of the entire bounce. We also want to place another structure block at the top here so that they're, you know, at the same level, basically. We also want to save it on the other side here and then here as well. So right down there. Now what we want to do is, oh, that's not quite what I want to hand in mind. There you go. What I actually want to do, do is this, right? Right click the structure block. And this is going to be tutorial mod colon Alpen underscore house. Make sure to always include your mod ID colon and then the name of your structure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually press control A to select it all control C to copy it. And we're going to switch to corner mode and then say done. We're now going to paste in with control V to all of them and just, you know, switch them to corner mode as well. Except for the last one, this one, we're going to paste it in and switch to save mode. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to basically click the detect button here. And then what we should see is the entire structure basically being surrounded with, you know, these outlines. And you can basically see, well, this is the structure that would be saved. If you need to make some, you know, differences here, if you need to like change it up, you can, you know, change those blocks, you know, the positions and then just, you know, basically change them up, save them and then you should be fine. And well, I mean, then what we want to do is you just want to hit save. And now this count house has been saved as an NBT file. Once again, in your run folder in the saves, in the saves of this particular, well, level here in this case. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So let's switch to IntelliJ and see what we have to do. All right. So as I've said right here in the run folder saves, this is the structure tutorial pog. That's the name of the world. And then here you can see the cow underscore house. Let's just get this over and to our structures folder right here. This is the one with the, we've created in the last tutorial. If you have not seen this, I mean, it's pretty much a requirement for this because um, yeah, we're going to basically be copying over almost all of the JSON files from the last tutorial. So you will have to go through the longer one and then you can proceed with this one. Anyway, let's start with the structure JSON file in, in the tag. So let's just copy over the JSON only house here. Call it cowpen underscore house and there you go. We're going to keep it like this because honestly, the biomes here are going to be fine. So no worries there. We also want to copy this one. I can drag it to the same folder that it's, that it's in and hold the control and then it's going to copy it. And then I can just change the name here. Cowpen underscore house. There you go. Now here, of course, we want to change a few things, namely this one right here. Cowpen underscore house. The same thing goes here. So I'm going to select it. Press control C to, you know, copy the name and then paste it in here. This is, of course, going to refer to this JSON file again. So, I've, you know, we've gone through this in the last tutorial. So no worries. We won't have any custom processor list in this case. And then the structure set as well. Cowpen underscore house, right? And here, the same thing. Cowpen house. Very important to change the salt right here. So let's just change it to, you know, something like this. Let's make sure that it's not too big. That is 300 million. That's going to be fine. And then, you know, just change the separation as well. That's maybe seven and maybe something like 19. That's going to be fine. That's going to be okay. And that is okay. Then let's copy the rundown house template pool folder right here, also calling it count house. And then let's make sure to open the proper JSON files, the side pool and the start pool. Once again, changing the name here, changing the name here. And then of course we don't actually need the side pool. So let's get rid of the side pool. There you go. Just get rid of that. There it is. And then we should be fine. We have here the location here, of course, once again, refers to the NBT file that we've just exported. And then this is just the name of the actual file. And I kid you not, this is it. Now our common house will spawn in a new world. If you don't believe me, I mean, let's just go into Minecraft and see. It, this is literally it. One, two, three, four JSON files and one NBT file for a, you know, single piece structure, basically. So... Let's make a new world and see if our cotton house spawns. Or we find ourselves in Minecraft again. And of course we spawn on a deserted island right here. Let's see if we can find a little bit of land and maybe we can spot a cotton house spawning in the in its natural habitat. Let's go. There is one. There we go. So we can already see 
Perfect. Oh man, that's that's really strange. So our <laughs> look at this. This spawned in the middle of a village, like literally in the middle of a <laughs> of a village. So this can sometimes happen that you know your custom structures spawn in the middle of other structures. It is very rare, and obviously, if the separation and stuff like that is higher, um, you know, than the testing that we're doing right now, then it should be an issue actually. So there you go. There you can see. Everything here, the lantern here, everything here, the custom blocks are here, all of our, you know, great doors, everything, well, is available to us, so, yeah, I mean, that is pretty much how easy it is to add a, you know, custom, completely custom structure to Minecraft, right? All of the JSON files and the NBT file are, of course, available for download in the description below in the GitHub repository and individual gist as well, but that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel and I will see you all in the next video. So yeah.